Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we are going to be taking a look at a new genuine UVC uh, sterilizing lamp. And we're going to be doing the banana test, which is an experiment you can do at home to check to see if your UVC lamp is in fact really a germicidal sterilizing lamp. We'll be taking a look at the UVC sterilizing coating machine uh, that I did in a previous video. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I will also put a link to the Amazon listing for this lamp if you choose to, uh, to get it for yourself. A little warning uh, before we begin the video. This is a potentially dangerous experiment. It does involve ionizing radiation from the UVC lamp. And without the proper protection, you can get um, sunburn-like symptoms on your skin and very badly damage your eyes. During an earlier experiment, I had my eye pro and forgot to put it on, and I was temporarily blinded for a couple of days. Better now, but PSA, wear your eye protection. All right, first, let's take a look at this light. In the box, we get a small bag of hardware and a just short pigtail. Let me get this thing out of this box. There it goes. And here we have the main assembly. You can see it is a six watt light. Let's zoom down in a bit. There we go. And if we can get the focus on there, right? There we go. UVC 6 watt, we're about 110 volt rather than uh, most of you overseas type with your 220. And does it produce ozone? Yes, and I can confirm that this does strip away the uh, electrons and get you O3. So here we have the tube. If we look on close, you can see we have a small coil at each end. These are our ignition coils, and it is a solid, I believe, quartz glass tube with the electrodes. The assembly itself is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the bulb simply slides in through this groove at the top and bottom and once in it gets a twist 90 degrees to lock it in place and make contact with the electrodes. All right, let's change our focus once again. To facilitate this experiment, we're just going to be using this uh, two wire plug and some uh, electrical speed nuts or whatever their proper name is. This doesn't have a polarity, so that makes life easy. We'll just twist them together and add a nut. For those of you wondering at home, the blue wire is neutral from the outlet. You can remember that because blue is like the sky, it's very calm, and this brown wire is the live wire. It is brown because that will be the color of your pants when you remember that it is live. All right, get that plugged in, and we'll plug this into one of our outlets. All right, next we need to set up our experiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two of these bananas, put the rest aside for now, and we're going to take some tape. UVC is not a very deep penetrating light, 
So a piece of tape is enough to protect the soft, supple flesh of the banana. We'll rip that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a nice sharp line right here. And in fact, we will put another piece right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if after exposing it to the light, if this region here, well, really the, the whole banana, less the parts under the tape become discolored. We'll do the same on this banana and then put it in here. So. There we go, our two tests. Actually, you know what, let's make this tape a little bit better. There, that looks pretty good. All right, we'll see which one of them fits better in this case. If I cut off some of this, There we go, that one is now a perfect fit in there. This one here. We have a simple power supply and USB connector for this assembly. We'll get that wired up. All right, the way that we are going to run this experiment, I'm going to raise this banana up. Eh, maybe not that high. Let's see if I have something else to get it at about the same level. I don't necessarily, ooh, you know what? I have just the thing, one moment. All right, just using a simple clamp like this, I can lift the lamp slightly off the surface of the table so that I don't burn my table with it. We're going to run both of these for 20 minutes. This only runs in three to four minute intervals and then I need to restart it. So let's get that going. Plug this in. For those of you questioning, that did say the multifunctional disinfecting coating machine. Let's. Hello. The disinfection and coating process is in progress. Please proceed to the next step. All right, we'll let that run through its first cycle. We'll turn this one on. And I will run this for 20 minutes and then I'll show you the results. All right, I'm back. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's turn that off and unplug this thing. Let's take a look at this banana. Let's zoom on in on it. See if we can get the focus about right. And if we peel this tape back. You can see that there is no noticeable discoloration. Let's zoom back out, whoops. Hit the zoom button, damn it. I keep hitting the focus. There we go. Zoomed back out. Let's take a look at, well, we can already tell 
that it's at least slightly discolored. And there we go. So the real UVC lamp has burned the surface of the banana while the fake UVC has done nothing. Anyway, this lamp did produce quite a lot of ozone while, uh, while it was operating. And as I said before, it is a fairly dangerous experiment as without the proper protective gear, uh, you could permanently damage your eyes or potentially cause some form of skin cancer as it is an ionizing radiation. Uh, that being said, this is only uh, surface deep. If we take our knife and peel it back, you can see that there is no discernible difference below the surface of the skin. In any case, that's all I have for today's video. I know it was a fairly short one, but I hope you found the information useful. And if you have any questions about UVC sterilizing lamps or any of the other videos on my channel, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this video was made possible with the support of my patrons on Patreon. Please check out the link in the description below and consider uh, supporting the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I think I got all of the internets out of the way. Uh, so until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.